Then we'll take our light and we'll do the reflected light, white with our black, create gray. Lighten up his beak a little bit more to bring it out. Now we're going to work on his wings and his back tail. We'll start out with his back tail first. We're going to outline the fine detail in the patterns of his wings. Now we're working on the pattern. We're getting all that fine detail in there. And once we have the outline of the patterns, now we'll use our white and our blue together. And we'll create the shadow around the head. Our white black. We'll create a gray color to put the shadow behind his head. We're going to fill in the detail around his wings. All the area that we hadn't painted in around the black outlines around his wings, we're going to add blue and white together. It will create kind of a wash. We're going to fill it in and detail it and add some light to the top. to highlight it some more, to do some more detail. Add a little bit more light to do some highlights and reflected light. Work a little bit more on his tail.
will, will outline in detail some of the pattern in his wings. Just a touch of white will bring out his tail. There we go. Now we'll work on his feet. Notice that we had covered his feet earlier. Well now, you see just a shadow of where his feet was. So we'll take our black and our burnt sienna, mix that together, and we will fill in his legs. And his feet are covered with just a little bit of water, so you just want a hint of what his feet will look like. Then we'll add our white and our brown together, and we'll create the reflected light along his legs. And now we'll add some black, and we'll fill it in and create some more detail. Well, now we're going to take our fan brush and a lot of white on our fan brush with a touch of blue, but mostly white. Lightly dab it up and down. We see we're going to cover the legs again, but as you can see, the legs are still standing out quite a bit. After we fill that all in on the bottom with your fan brush and add more texture to the water, then we'll detail the legs. Now we'll detail the legs over the top of what we did with our fan brush. We'll add our black and burnt sienna. And then we'll add our white for some highlights. Isn't that a nice effect that we did with the legs and the background of the water?
we'll add a reflected light by placing a whole bunch of dots in different order and at random of where the light is reflecting. There we go. Now your painting is finished. All we have to do is sign it. Now we'll paint the edges black. That will give your painting a finished look. You can hang it up on the wall without a frame. Okay, there he is, Mr. Sanderling. Hello, we're back. That was a fun show. I'm glad you could join me. You have a great day. And happy painting. I'll see you next time. Bye.